Hi, everybody. I'm Steve Pond, awards editor of The Wrap, and we're so happy to have you here for our award screening of Escape from Mogadishu, the South Korean entry in this year's Oscars International Race. We're going to be showing you the trailer to begin with, and then we'll go right into a conversation with our panelists. To the audience, please participate in the live chat, share your thoughts about the film, let us know where you're tuning in from. And before I introduce the film's director and producer, let's take a look at the trailer. I, General ID of the United Somali Congress, address the embassies of each nation. Better leave, or my brothers will be back for you. Kyongchaljeldu da ne pendunde, musun bechanguru irone. Ryo kachi pyeon mokko, monga al su isu korong semakal. Welcome back. It's my pleasure to introduce directors Sun Wan Ryu and producer Hai Jung Kang and their translator. Um, thank you very much for joining us and, and congratulations on the success of your film, which I hear is, you know, is an enormous hit in Korea. 그, 저, 한국에서는 COVID 상황 때문에 사실 쉽지 않았는 시기였는데, 어, 다행히 굉장히 많은 관객분들이 좋아해 주시고, 어, 영화에 대한 평가가 좋아서, 어, 예, 굉장히 나름, 그리고 한국 영화계가, 뭐, 세계 영화계가 다 마찬가지였겠지만, 굉장히 어려운 상황이었는데, 어, 우리 영화로 극장가가 좀 다시 활기를 찾기 시작한 계기가 됐다는데 큰 의미가 있었습니다. Well, actually, in Korea, because of the COVID situation, it really is not an easy situation. But fortunately, all of the audience, they, I think they really enjoyed our movie. And also, everyone is saying that they have a very good response towards our movie. So, of course, not only in Korea, but worldwide, the film industry is going through difficult times because of this COVID situation. But I think it's even the more meaningful because our movie really brought back life to uh, the filming industry and also to the theaters. Right. Um, I, I should tell our audience who hasn't who haven't seen it yet that this is based on the true story of how South and North Korean dip diplomats had to had to work together to escape from Mogadishu in, in Somalia at the start of the civil war there. Um, did either of you know anything really about this story before you started making the movie? So I was actually not aware of the fact that I didn't know 어, 이 영화가 제작되기 한 4, 5년 전쯤에 우연히 이런 소재의 영화가 만들어진다, 그러니까 기획이 되고 있다라는 소식을 듣고 그제서야 아 이런 어, 역사적 사건이 있었어라고 알게 됐었어요. Uh, well, actually, I really didn't have a lot of knowledge about the actual event before we started producing the movie. But uh, before we made the movie, four or five years before we started to make the movie, I heard that there was a movie in the works. Someone was planning to uh, make a movie based on this kind of story. And that's when I realized, oh, was there this kind of historic event that took place? Mm -hmm. 
All right. Well, I'll, I'll ask the producer as well. Were you familiar with this story? 대표님은 어떠셨나요? 저도 마찬가지였고요. 근데 사실은 이 일이 일어난 당시는 한국 그러니까 1990년 당시 한국 자체가 워낙 이런 남북 이슈가 민감했기 때문에 이렇게 드라마틱한 일이 있었다고 하더라도 많이 뉴스화 되거나 알려지거나 하는 걸 기피하는 정치적인 상황이어서 굉장히 단신 처리만 됐던 걸로 저희도 나중에 확인을 했습니다. Uh, actually I'm the same uh, I'm in the same situation. I was in the same situation as um, the director the director and um, when this happened when the event actually took place in 1990 actually uh, issues between the two careers were very sensitive and delicate so even if there was this incident it didn't become a big news here in korea because it's something that we tried to avoid because of these political uh, tensions so it was last uh, afterwards we found out that it was actually treated as a very small issue and they just breathed over it. Right. Um, so for both of you, why did you want to make a movie about this, about this event? This event is a little bit of a long time ago, when the war is happening in a war, when the war is happening in a war, when the war is happening in a war, when the war is happening in 그 굉장히 좋은 장르적인 소재라고 어, 보기 쉬운데 여기에 어, 남한과 북한 사람들이 예, 등장을 하게 됨으로써 이것은 그 어디에서도 만들 수 없는 우리만의 예, 개성 있는 이야기가 예, 된다고 생각을 했어요. 어, 그것이 가장 컸습니다. Um, well, if you just think of this very briefly, uh, you can think uh, it's a very good, it's a very good material for making a movie because it's about the war, it's about a civil war, and it's about uh, diplomats who are trying to get themselves out of the flee from the war. And so you could think, easily think that it's a very good um, material for something that we can find in many different Hollywood movies. But when you put South Korea and North Korea into uh, the formula, um, I thought it made a very special story um, that was very particular to our country. Mm -hmm. 제 경우에는 어, 어떤 정치적인 체제에 대한 이야기를 넘어선 살고자 하는 사람들, 휴먼에 대한 이야기가 가장 극적으로 드러날 수 있다는 부분이 굉장히 매력적이었습니다. And in my case, I think it went beyond the political system. I think we were able to look at the dramatical side of humans, pure humans, who are trying to survive. Right. Um, how, how accurate did you try to be to the, to the real events? And were there places where you felt comfortable, you know, changing the story a little bit? 그 실제 하는 역사적 사실을 재현한다라고 했을 때 우리가 영화를 만들면서 저의 경우는 영화를 만들면서 가져야 하는 가장 첫 번째 그 자세는 우리의 한계를 먼저 인정해야 되는 것이라고 생각합니다. Um, I think when we actually reproduce an actual historical event, in my case, the most important thing, the first and utmost attitude that I take on, and I think you should take on, is that we have to acknowledge we have our limitations. Uh, 두 시간 남짓하는 시간 동안 그 uh, 여, 우리가 다, 다큐멘터리가 아니라 영화를 만드는 것이기 때문에 uh, 그것은 실제를 재현하는 것에 집중을 하다 보면 uh, 오히려 실제를 왜곡할 수 있는 현상이 생길. Uh, because we are making a movie and not a documentary that lasts two hours, I think if you focus too much on actually reliving and remaking the exact and accurate details of the event, you end up distorting the facts. Uh, 맞추려다보면, 맞추려다보면, and that's because if you focus on everything then you lose focus on everything too i think 
그래서 이런 어, 류의 영화를 만들 때는 만드는 사람이 정확히 무엇을 어떻게 보느냐 그 시선과 태도가 굉장히 중요하다고 생각합니다. Uh, so in making these kind of movies, I think it's very important to have this attitude on how you look at things and what you look at. 어, 저의 경우는 이 사건을 다룰 때 중요한 것이 어, 인물들이었습니다. And in my case, what was most important to me was uh, the characters. 그 당시에 그 사건에 처한 인물들의 어, 당시의 공포와 두려움, 어, 그리고 생존에 대한 그 절박함, 네, 그 마음의 풍경을 재현하는 것이 저에겐 더 중요했습니다. Uh, so I really wanted to depict the fear, the terror, and really their urge to survive from the situation. I really wanted to uh, be able to depict what they were feeling inside. Uh, 대신 이 영화 속에 재현되는 풍경이나 그 인물들의 배치 에, 등등은 어, 최대한 그 실제 기록된 사실들에 가깝게 묘사하려고. 어, 노력을 했으나 근데 우리가 그 실제 그 당시에 소말리아에 가서 촬영하는 게 아니었기 때문에 어, 당연히 그 오차는 생길 수밖에 없다고 봅니다. Uh, however, the background, uh, the cynical background, or uh, the layout of the different characters, I really tried to stay close to the uh, accurate and actual facts. But since we were not actually filming, at the time in Somalia, of course, there will be a difference in the truth. 그리고 실제 사건에서는 10일 정도 되는 기간 동안 남과 북의 사람들이 같이 지냈었는데 이 영화 속에서는 그걸 그 시간을 좀 압축시켰고 그리고 이 남과 북의 사람들이 공항에서 만나서 대서관으로 오는 건데 이제 그 그런 디테일한 것들의 변화들이 좀 있었죠. Uh, so actually, what happened in the actual event was uh, they stayed together for 12 days, but in the movie that was not the case. And also, they actually went from uh, the airport to the embassy. But these kind of things, I had to change a little. Right. Um, for the producer, I mean, you're. This is such a large scale movie. It's obviously a huge. Undertaking. I mean, what were the biggest challenges for, you know, for producing a movie of this size? 어, 뭐큰 버젯에 대한 두려움보다는 실제적으로 한 번도 가보지 않은 소말리아 그리고 30년 전을 모로코에서 재현한다라고 하는 게 현실적으로 얼마나 가능할까라고 하는 그 타이틀 자체가 제작진에게 가장 큰 도전이었던 것 같습니다. Uh, actually, not the fear of for example, a large scale uh, film or a large budget film. Um, rather than that, it was having to uh, depict Somalia, a place that we have not been to, and 30 years back, and having to do that in Morocco. That was an endeavor, a big endeavor in itself for myself and our staff. Because 솔직히 말하면 정말 상상에 의한 것이죠. 과거의 데이터. 왜냐면 지금도 우리는 소말리아에 들어갈 수 없기 때문에. 그래서 과연 이게 그 어떤 개인적으로는 판타지보다 더 상상에 의한 공간 재현이라고 하는 숙제가 너무 컸었고 근데 이 부분을 한국의 스태프들이 너무나 완벽하게 재현해 낸 것에 대해서 지금도 굉장히 자부심을 가지고 있습니다. Uh, actually the fact that we had to uh, remake all of this uh, in another country, and it had to be based on uh, past facts because we still cannot enter into Somalia. So that in itself was a very big challenge, and it was even more difficult than actually making a fantasy film because everything had to come out of our imagination. But I'm still very, very proud of our Korean staff because I think they did an excellent job and close to perfect job in uh, doing this. Right. I mean, how how much of, of what we see on screen did you did you have to build, and how much was, you know, existing um, structures and things in in um, in Morocco? I mean, it look it looks like you built the city of, of Mogadishu. 일단 로케이션 헌팅을 하면서 
그 실제 소말리아의 수도 그 모가디슈와 아주 흡사한 건축 구조 양식을 가지고 있는 도시를 찾았어요. Uh, actually, when we were first doing our uh, location hunting, when we went looking for a location, we really looked for um, a location, a place that would really resemble uh, the capital of Somalia, Mogadishu. Uh, 그래서 uh, 그 기초적인 그 건축물들이 있는 곳을 기반으로 해서 우리 미술팀들이 어, 거기에 뭐, 어, 뭐 야자수를 가져다가 심고 그 다음에 아치형 그 디테일을 심고 하는 식으로 그 디테일한 작업들을 어, 이, 했죠. 그 당시의 사진과 그 어, 동영상 자료들을 어, 기반으로 해서. Uh, so what we did is we actually worked with uh, the basic uh, structures that existed. And what we did is our art team went in and, for example, we would plant uh, the palm trees and also we would construct the arch type uh, constructors. So that's how we worked about it. And we all did this based on uh, the facts, the data that existed. And also, 최종적인 지금 여러분들이 보시는 이 영화 속에 모가디슈를 재현하게 된 겁니다. And then for uh, the things that were too uh, extravagant or too big for us to build, and also for things that really needed meticulous detail, um, we did that. We actually compensated that with CGI, and so that's how we were able to make the Mogadishu that you see and everybody sees in the movie. 저희가 작업하면서 어, 좀 어, 그 저희 스스로 되게 뿌듯했던 어, 에피소드가 하나 있었는데 그 저희가 카체이스를 찍을 때그 카체이스 카메라 카를 운전하시는 드라이버 분이 그때 실제 그 모가디슈 내전이 벌어졌을 때 당시에 그 비행 조종사로 거기에 근무를 하셨었대요. 근데 우리가 찍는 그 거리가 자기가 있었던 그 모가디슈의 거리와 아주 흡사하다는 얘기를 and also, I have a very uh, interesting anecdote to share with you. Um, as we were doing the artwork and doing the work on the scenery, um, actually, the person who was driving the camera car for the car chase at the end of the movie, um, he actually, during the Civil War at the time, uh, was uh, uh, he. He was a pilot, sorry. Um, he was a pilot. And um, what he told me was it, he thought that the, the, the scene that we had made, uh, everything looked very uh, similar to the Mogadishu that he knew back then. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, how, how difficult were those car chases at the end? I mean, it's such an extraordinary mm -hmm. sequence through all those streets um how how difficult and how complicated was it to shoot that big big action sequence with all the cars 액션 시퀀스를 만드는데 어, 사실 그 쉬운 방법과 어려운 방법이 있습니다. 쉬운 방법은 어, 그저 내가 응원하는 대상을 하나 만들어 놓고 악당을 하나 만들어 놓은 다음에 어, 그냥 시원하게 때려 부시기만 하나 uh, actually, when you make uh, an action, when we film an action sequence, there's the easy way and then there's the difficult way. The easy way is to have a person that you root for and a villain. And then you can have um, a scene where everything just blasts up. But if you want to make a difficult way, you have to make a difficult way. But when you decide that you want to uh, attempt something new, you want to try something new, that's the moment when you just do away with the easy way and you enter into the difficult way. Uh, 대체 내가 왜 이걸 한다고 했을까라는 생각이 매번 듭니다. And every time I think, oh, why did I decide to do this? 
그리고 뭔가 새로운 거를 하려고 하면 항상 현장은 자기 멋대로 돌아가요. And when you try something new, every time what happens is just everything wreaks havoc. 이거는 말안 듣는 내 자식을 막말잘 듣게 만들려고 하는 것만큼 어려운 일. And it's as difficult as making your child listen to you and obey you. 어 그보다 이제 더 어려워지는 것은 선과 악의 구도를 이 뭉개는 순간 아주 최상의 어려움을 겪게 되죠. And what makes it even more the difficult is when we start to blur over uh, the the barrier that exists between good and evil. 응, 이 영화가 사실 어려웠던 지점은 그 지점이었습니다. 그 선악의 구도가 명확한 상태에서 어떤 대상을 뭔가 싸우면서 벌어지는 것이 아니라 그저 어, 영문도 모른 채 벌어지고 있는 이 재난 상황을 극복하기 위한 그 인물들의 그 상태만 있을 뿐이고 어, 그리고 그들의 목적지가 뚜렷한 그이 해소 이 갈등에 대한 해소를 가져다 주는 어, 지점은 아니란 거예요. And the reason that making this movie was especially difficult is because we didn't have this very uh, deliberate uh, structure between good and good versus evil. So it wasn't someone fighting against someone, good versus evil. And it was just the characters and the status of the characters who were in this situation that they didn't know would occur and they wanted to overcome uh, this catastrophe. So that was what made it difficult because there was no um, deliberate uh, destination, so to say. 그리고 어, 우리의 제작 환경이라는 것이 영화 이게 완성된 영화를 보, 보면 막 엄청난 규모의 영화인 것처럼 보이긴 하지만 우리의 제작이라는 것이 사실 헐리우드에서 만들어지는 그 인디펜던트 영화의 제작비 규모를 가지고 어, 이, 이런 영화를 만드는 거니까 어, 이 영화를 만드는 사람들의 그 손길이 그 굉장히 예, 중요하게 작용하죠. And um, if you take a look at the finished product, the movie itself, it may seem that a lot of budget was uh, invested into the movie, but actually we worked with a budget that sums up to, I would say, a Hollywood independent uh, film. So in this case, what becomes important is all the different efforts of everyone involved. Uh. 그 카체이스 장면의 어려움은 이렇게 표현할 수 있을 것 같아요. 그, 그 시속 어, 3, 40km로 그, 그 겨우겨우 어, 운행하면서 <웃음> 이 언제 이 사망할지 모르는 차를 가지고 그런 차량들을 가지고 어, 만들어낸 장면입니다. So I think in a nutshell I could sum the car scene as uh, follows. The difficulty was that we had to work with cars that could barely go 30 to 40 kilometers per hour and we didn't know when they would just stop and so that i think in a nutshell explains the car chase 사실 어쩔 때는 옆에서 뛰어가는 사람이 더 빠르게 됐어요 <웃음> and at times if we had someone running beside the cars the person would be faster the running person would be faster than the car as a producer, how are you? How are you feeling when your director is doing a scene like this, you know, the hard way, and and you have to, you know, get so much on screen for not a, not much money? Ah, 사실 뭐 어려운 방법을 가지고 찍는 모든 하드한 현장에서 가장 저에게 이슈는 제작비보다는 일단 모두의 안전입니다. Actually, when uh, the director decides to film something or make something in the difficult way, um, I don't actually think of the budget. I think of the safety of everyone involved. 첫 번째는 감독이 그리고 우리 제작팀이 최대한의 효율성을 가진 한국 최고 팀이라는 것에 대한 확신이 있었기 때문에 어떻게 만들어 올 것인가에 대해서는 사실 의심의 여지가 없었습니다. And because I had this belief that our staff and also the director, um, we have the best team ever. So, and also in terms of efficiency, we also have the best team ever. So I actually didn't doubt what uh, he would produce or make. 
새로운 도전을 하는 매 현장에서 가장 큰 이슈는 예측 불허의 상황에서 오는 안전의 위협. 사실 이거 이거 하나뿐이라고 해도 될것 같아요. And so for me as a producer, um, when we take up a new challenge, for me, what is the most and utmost uh, of the utmost uh, priority is the safety in uh, situations that we that are unpredictable. 그래서 아까 감독이 말한 것처럼 내가 이걸 왜 한다고 했을까라고 후회를 하는 매 현장마다 저는 그냥 가만히 있습니다. 왜냐면 and, 해올 걸 알기 때문에. And <웃음> 해낼 걸 also, 알기 때문에. as the director mentioned, he said um, every time he decides to go the difficult way, he thinks, oh, why did I decide to do this? <웃음> well, even if he does that, because I know he will get great results, I just wait beside him and I don't say anything. <웃음> right. Um... Yeah. Now, th there's there's a lot of humor in this film, especially in, in the first half. Why was it important to to have that in there? 기본적으로, 어, 그러니까 저 개인적으로 어, 저는 살아가면서 유머를 되게 중요하게 생각하는 사람이에요. Uh, actually, personally, I think humor is very a very important part of life. 그리고 저는 아무리 극악스럽고 처절한 상황도 조금 다르게 보면 항상 그 안에 되게 웃기는 상황들이 존재한다고 생각해요. And I think even in the most uh, morbid or difficult situations, if you look at it differently, there is some element of humor in that situation too. 저는 난처한 상황 속에서 벌어지는 그런 엉뚱한 그 유머들이 어, 저는 저에게는 항상 그 매력적인 순간입니다. And I think um, the somewhat uh, off the beat humor, humor that you find in these difficult uh, situations, that's very appealing to me. 저는 그 어떤 상황보다도 장례식장에서 되게 웃기는 경, 그 상황들을 많이 발견해요. And uh, more than ever, I find very uh, many humorous elements in funerals. <laughs> 어, 저는 인간은 기본적으로 그 상황이 어려워질수록 본능적으로 그 어려움을 극복하기 위해서 그 유머를 본능적으로 찾아간다고 생각해요. 어떻게든 그 상황을 어, 극복하기 위한 어떤 반사작용 같이. And I think um, humans um, innately the difficult, the, the more difficult the situation um, they are in, they actually, humans innately look for and find and try to discover this humorous element to be able to survive and get out of that difficult situation. Uh, and for me, I think I would say a movie is um, something that you go to the theaters for to experience happiness and also tension and also conflict and also a catharsis, I would say. Mm -hmm. right. Is is there a lot of humor on your set as you're making this this movie of you know about these these you know serious life threatening events? 그 유머를 만든다는 것은 굉장히 고통스러운 과정이죠. Uh, actually, making these humorous uh, situations in a movie is a very difficult and a torturing endeavor in itself. Uh, 이렇게 말씀들이 수 있을 것 같아요. 제가 만약 공포 영화를 만든다면 그 현장은 굉장히 웃음이 넘치는 것입니다. And maybe I can put it another way. If I were to make a horror movie, then there would be humor and we would be laughing actually on the set. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, yeah. With with you know most of the action takes place in the second half of the film. Are there things you do um, as a director or in the editing room to keep the audience you know, interested and engaged for the first half of the film? 저는 영화를 만들 때그 액션이 벌어지는 상황을 관객들이 충분히 즐기, 즐기게 할수 있는 가장 중요한 요소는 
관객들이 인물들을 아는 사람으로 만들어 주는 것이 가장 중요하다고 생각합니다. Uh, actually, when I make movies, um, I think for the audience to really appreciate and enjoy the action scenes, they have to really um, have this affinity with the characters to be able to enjoy and appreciate the action scenes. 예를 들어서 여러분들이 그 CNN에서 보도되는 아주 멀리 있는 어떤 나라에서 발생하고 있는 굉장히 처절한 그 전쟁의 상황을 그 지켜보는 경우가 있죠. Uh, for example, let's say on CNN we hear news and we watch news about uh, very difficult and dire situations of war in a far away country. 그때 우리는 상황을 보고 어, 안타까워합니다. And we look at their circumstances and their situation, and we feel badly. But my family or my friend got a fight in the parking lot. It was just a physical fight, not a verbal fight. It was a kind of fight. I feel like watching the war in a distant country. 그 상태보다 훨씬 더 심, 심박수가 빨리 뛰는 어, 경험을 할 것입니다. But let's say then uh, you witness, for example, a member of your family or a friend is um, gets engaged in, uh, let's say, some tension in the parking lot, and it, there's no physical um, things going on, just pure quarrel. But um, that actually will make your heart run faster, your heartbeat go faster than um, watching the morbid situation in a far away country. Uh, 관객들이 uh, 후반부에 발생하는 그런 uh, 클라이막스 시퀀스에서 발생하는 장면에 몰입을 하려면 uh, 이성을 잃을 정도의 몰입을 시키려면 앞서에 등장하는 인물들을 내가 아는 사람처럼 관객과의 그 관계를 형성해 주는 것이 저는 대단히 중요하다고 생각합니다. And so for uh, the audience to be able to really be immersed in the climax sequence towards the end, towards the latter half of the movie, is um, the most important element there is to make uh, this relationship between the characters and the audience um, for them. 거기에는 어떤 그 소위 그 드라마 작법에서 중요하게 작용하는 어떤 그 대단한 에, 시츄에이션을 활용하기보다 아주 사소한 에, 우리가 에, 보편적으로 어, 보편적인 그 감정적 반응을 할수 있는 아주 사소한 에, 어떤 순간들을 발생시켜서 관객들이 저 스크린 속에 있는 인물들이 나와 다르지 않다라는 것을 느끼게 해주는 것이 전 어, 중요하다고 생각합니다. And so to make uh, this relationship or this rapport between the audience and uh, the characters, um, we don't have to make uh, a very big uh, situation. I think it's the very little things, uh, the emotional responses. We have to make this moment happen. Um, so the people watching can think, oh, the characters in the screen, that's just like me. They're no different from what I feel. 저는 그 영화에 등장하는 상황들을 관객들이 그냥 어, 지켜보는 정도가 아니라 온전히 체험하게 어, 만들고 싶었어요. Uh, so what I really aimed for was the audience not just to be watching what's happening, the situation in the movie. I really wanted them to experience what was happening. 어, 그렇기 때문에 영화에서 액션 시퀀스가 얼마나 많은 빈도로, 얼마나 자주 등장해서 관객들을 어, 깜짝깜짝 놀래게 하느냐보다 어, 굉장히 밀도 있는 몇 번의 장, 그 장면으로 어, 관객들한테 잊을 수 없는 체험을 하게 어, 만들고 싶었습니다. Uh, so rather than having many frequent um, action sequences in place and um, surprising the audience with those many sequences, what I wanted to do was to have some uh, very intense uh, action sequences in place, and I wanted to provide them 
with um, an experience that they would not forget. Right. For, for, for a producer, when you're on the set watching, you know, watching this happen, were you confident that, that director Ryu was, was getting everything that you needed for, you know, to make, to make a great film or, or were you worried about things? Well, 아까도 말씀드린 것처럼 감독과 사실 감독뿐만 아니라 함께 간 모로코에 간 모든 스텝이 한 마음으로 이 영화를 만들고 있구나라는 거에 대한 건한 번도 의심한 적이 없고요. 다만 그 모로코라는 아프리카의 특성상 너무 멀고 그래서 어떤 거, 건강상 컨디션에 대한 걱정. 그래서 뭐 사실 만들어 오는 영화에 대한 걱정이나 의심은 한 적이 없습니다. Actually I didn't have any uh, concerns when it came to um, what the director was doing and also what the staff was doing because we were all in the same boat. We were one big team, I think. Um, but because of the geographical distance, because we were in Africa and also there are many health conditions we also had to think about, um, that was actually my concern. But I really wasn't concerned about um, how this movie would turn out. Right. Um, did did COVID cause any any problems with the production or the post production of the film? 아 우선 어 다행히도 촬영 저희 촬영이 그 정말 거의 끝날 무렵에 그 코비드 상황이 시작이 돼서 촬영을 하는 데는 아무 문제가 없었습니다. Uh, well, fortunately enough, um, we were ending actually um, filming the movie when this COVID situation actually came to play. So fortunately enough, we didn't have that difficulty when we were making the movie. And also in post-production, actually, rather than many uh, people gathering together to work on the movie, uh, we work in teams. So actually, we didn't have that much a difficulty due to the COVID situation itself. We were able to keep to the local guidelines as we were doing post-production. Um, 이 개봉을 하는 시점에서 좀 난처함은 있었죠. But then of course there were these difficulties when actually um, we released the movie in the theaters. Right. Um, I mean th this film is about a moment of cooperation between South Korea and North Korea that you know maybe neither country wanted to admit at the time but I mean did you want to deliver some kind of message about cooperation with the film? 사실 어, 당시에 그 지금 벌써 21세기잖아요. 어, 1990년 당시만 하더라도 우리가 그 한국에서 더 발생했던 그 전쟁의 그 상처가 또렷이 남아 있을 때였기 때문에 지금 현재 젊은 관객들이 느끼는 그 느낌과는 어, 사뭇 다를 것이라고 생각합니다. Um, actually, at the time, uh, now we're in the 21st century, but at the time, in 1990, um, in Korea, we were still um, healing from the wounds of the Korean War. So I think it's very different from what the young audience of today um, feels. Uh, 하지만 저에게 중요한 것은 uh, 그런 이념에 관한 문제보다 이념, 신념에 관한 문제보다 어, 결국 사람과 사람에 관한 어, 문제가 저에겐 더 중요했어요. 그것은 변치 않는 어, 주제라고 생각합니다. And for me, what was more important rather than um, ideology was um, this interpersonal relationship, people to people, human to human. And I think this is a theme that will never go away. 아, 아주 공교롭게도 이 영화가 개봉되는 한국에서 개봉되고 있을 때 아, 카불 사태가 발생을 했어요. And um, actually when we actually um, released 
the movie in theaters here in Korea, um, the Kabul, the incident in Kabul actually um, took place. 아, 이 영화 속에 등장했던 그 한국의 외교관들은 그때 당시에 그 한국의 국력이나 어, 그런 힘이 너무 없을 때였기 때문에 이런 내전이 발생했을 때 어, 대책 없이 어, 숙수무책으로 어, 두려움을 느끼면서 겨우겨우 탈출했지만 이제 30여 년이 지난 다음 어, 카불이라는 곳에서 발생했을 때는 우리가 그 그곳에 있는 그 난민들을 어, 구출해내고 어, 그들에게 어, 어떤 새로운 삶의 어, 보금자리를 제공할 수 있을 만큼 변화가 생겼죠. And actually, at the time, uh, the Korean diplomats in the movie, um, because we didn't have that power as a nation, they were actually faced with a situation where they had no, practically no help from the government, and they had to find a way to get themselves out of this difficult and horrific situation. But 30 years have passed, and now when, the, uh, when we uh, witnessed the incident in Kabul, Korea was able to go in and help um, refugees get out mm -hmm. and also provide a new life, a new place to live in uh, for these refugees. So there's a big change. I saw a very interesting photo. 그 카불에서 한국 그 대사관의 업무를 도왔다는 이유로 그 반군들의 표적이 된한 가족이 그그 그 가족들을 구출하기 위해서 한국의 군인들이 파견돼서 비행기에 실어서 이들을 데려왔을 때그 함께 그 카불에서 지냈던 그 한국 대사관 직원과 그이 카불에서 자신의 그 나라를 어, 등지고 온그두 어, 사람이 뜨겁게 포옹하고 있는 한 장의 사진을 봤습니다. And also I was able to see a very impressive um, picture of um, actually there was this uh, employee who worked in the Korean embassy to help the Korean diplomats and employees and actually this this person and um, his family became the target um of uh, the other side and um actually korean the korean military went in to actually help them come out of the country and in this picture we could see um a korean uh embassy employee really hugging uh the person from kabul so that was a very impressive moment for me 저는 그 사진을 보면서 어 어, 보다 더 어, 몰입할 수밖에 없었던 것이 제가 그것과 아주 유사한 어떤 사, 상황에 처한 사람들을 다룬 영화를 만들었기 때문에 어, 그 사진을 본 어, 저의 감정은 굉장히 복잡 미묘했었습니다. And I think I was really immersed with emotions when I saw that picture because I made this movie about a very similar situation. So I had very uh, a lot of mixed feelings when I saw that picture. 어, 저는 과연 세상이 정말 좋아지고 있는 것일까? 라는 생각이 들었어요. And I thought, is the world actually a better place? That's the question that came to mind. 그렇기 때문에 저는 어, 이런 영화가 어, 여전히 현재 진행형의 의미를 가지고 있다고 생각합니다. And so I think um, the meaning of this movie is something uh, that is actually ongoing. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, well, has, are any of the, the people who were in the embassy in, in Mogadishu still around? Have any of them seen this film? Ah, yeah. If you watch the film, you did a comment on it. Oh, yes, actually, um, some of them have actually seen the film and they gave me feedback and commented on the film. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, well, con congratulations. Uh, congratulations on the film. Um, you know, it's I, I, I had no idea about this story and, I, and I'm very happy that I learned about it in such a, uh, you know, such a thrilling way. Um, so, so thank you both. 네, 어, 너무 너무 감사합니다. Thank you once again. 네. Sure.
Um, and I should also say to people who are watching, thank you for joining us. It was great to have you all. Um, be for, sure to take advantage of our free trial to Wrap Pro because then you can be the first to know about upcoming screenings and events and register for screenings and catch up on ones you might have missed. Uh, you can also visit therap.com and click on the screenings tab in the main nav bar. Um, so thank you very much.